Anger is a normal human emotion that everyone experiences from time to time. However, when anger becomes a recurring or destructive force, it can damage relationships, cause stress and anxiety, and even lead to physical health problems. But what if there were some simple, practical and actionable steps to help you control your anger? What if you could stop your anger from controlling you, and instead use it as a signal for growth and change? In today's episode of the Anger Secrets podcast, I'll reveal the top three strategies that have helped thousands of my clients to better control their anger. These strategies will enable you to channel your anger into more productive outlets and transform it into a force that can enhance rather than harm your relationships and your life. So, if you've ever asked yourself, how do I stop getting angry? This episode is for you. Hello and welcome to episode 39 of the Anger Secrets podcast. I'm Alistair Dews, and over the last 30 years, I've taught over 15,000 men and women to control their anger, master their emotions, and create calmer, happier, and more respectful relationships. In this podcast, I share practical strategies and real-life stories to help you control your anger, master your emotions, and create calmer, happier, and more loving relationships. For free support on your anger management journey, including free training and the opportunity to book a free 20-minute anger assessment call with me, visit my website, angersecrets.com. I look forward to talking with you. Now, let's jump into today's episode. How do I stop getting angry? First, let's clarify that the aim isn't to eliminate anger entirely. As a normal emotion, anger serves a purpose in your life. The objective is to manage it so it doesn't overrun your life or relationships. Now, here are my top three strategies to help you do just that. Strategy one, be aware of your early warning signs of anger. Your early warning signs of anger are the physical, behavioral, mental and emotional cues that let you know your anger is rising. Common early warning signs of anger include feelings of tension, an accelerated heart rate, clenched fists or jaw, raising your voice, or even just feeling irritable. One of the most important steps to better control your anger is to become aware of these early warning signs before your anger gets out of control. By learning to recognize your early warning signs of anger, you can take early action to lower your anger before it escalates. For example, you might take a few deep breaths or go for a short walk to clear your mind. Or you may try changing your thinking from negative or aggressive thoughts to more positive, constructive ones. In my comprehensive online anger management program, the Complete Anger Management System, I will teach you the skills to recognize and manage your early warning signs of anger. Strategy two, use self-talk to de-escalate your anger. Once you have recognized your early warning signs of anger, the next step is to de-escalate your anger using positive self-talk. Positive self-talk is an effective way to challenge and reframe your distorted thinking patterns, which often lead to escalating anger. Positive self-talk can counteract the effects of negative thoughts by focusing on more positive, helpful, and constructive thoughts. For example, if you are arguing with your partner or spouse, instead of thinking, I can't handle this, think, I can stay calm and in control. Or instead of thinking, this always happens to me, think, I will find a way to work through this. Other common examples of positive self-talk include, I can handle this. I can get through this. I don't need to react to this. I can stay calm. 
it's time to take a deep breath and relax, or things will be okay. By consistently using positive self-talk, you can challenge your negative thoughts before they lead to escalating anger. This will enable you to stay calm and in control of your emotions. In my comprehensive online anger management program, the Complete Anger Management System, I will teach you more about how to use self-talk to control your anger in any situation. Strategy 3. Identify the beliefs that lead to anger. A fundamental principle of anger management is that it is not what happens to you that creates your anger. It is the thoughts that you have about the events that happen to you that create your anger. Furthermore, your thoughts about the events that happen to you are shaped by your beliefs and values about yourself, your relationships, and the world around you. Therefore, one key to anger management is to understand your underlying thoughts and beliefs that lead to anger. Common beliefs that lead to anger include, I must be right. Others must treat me in a certain way. I have to be perfect. If someone hurts me, I must hurt them back. Or, life should be fair. By understanding the beliefs underpinning your anger, you can challenge them and replace them with more helpful ones. This will enable you to be better prepared for the next time a similar situation arises. For example, if you believe that I must be right in any situation, a more useful belief could be, I don't have all the answers. Sometimes it's okay not to know or to be unsure. Or, if you have the belief that, if someone hurts me, I must hurt them back, a more useful belief could be, it's okay to forgive people who have hurt me. Changing your core beliefs can be a long process and doesn't happen overnight. It takes consistent effort to challenge your beliefs and replace them with more helpful ones. In the Complete Anger Management System, I will teach you how to identify the underlying beliefs that lead to your anger and how to challenge them to better manage your anger. By understanding your early warning signs of anger, using positive self-talk to de-escalate your anger, and identifying the beliefs that lead to your anger, you can take control of your anger and create calmer, happier, and more loving relationships. So, there you have it, my top three strategies to stop getting angry. Okay, that's all for today's episode. If you found this episode helpful, please follow this podcast, head to your favorite podcast app, and leave a rating and review. This will help other people struggling with anger find and benefit from this show. Remember, for free support on your anger management journey, including free training and the opportunity to book a free 20-minute anger assessment call with me, visit my website, angersecrets.com. I look forward to helping you control your anger once and for all. And finally, remember, you can't control other people, but you can control yourself. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. The Anger Secrets Podcast is for general informational purposes only, and does not constitute the practice of counseling, psychotherapy, or any other professional health service. No therapeutic relationship is implied or created by this podcast. If you have mental health concerns of any type, please seek out the help of a local mental health professional.